Capacitors are one of the most fundamental electrical components in use today. They are widely used in electronic devices, power transmission systems, and industrial machinery, among others. Simply put, a capacitor stores and releases electrical energy in a circuit. But how does it work, and what are its practical applications? In this video, we will delve into the workings of capacitors, the different types available, and their applications in various fields. We will also explore common problems associated with capacitors and their solutions. Whether you're an electronics enthusiast or an engineer, this video will give you a deeper understanding of how capacitors work and their crucial role in modern technology. What is a capacitor? A capacitor is an electronic component that is designed to store and release electrical energy. It is made up of two conductive plates that are separated by an insulating material, called a dielectric. When a voltage is applied to the plates, an electric field is created that stores energy in the dielectric. Capacitors are commonly used in electronic circuits to filter out unwanted noise, stabilize power supplies, and store energy for use in electronic devices. Understanding Capacitance What is capacitance? Capacitance is the ability of a capacitor to store charge. It is measured in units called farads, F named after the English physicist Michael Faraday, who made important contributions to the field of electromagnetism. The capacitance of a capacitor depends on several factors, such as the size of the plates, the distance between them, and the type of dielectric used. Factors that affect capacitance. The capacitance of a capacitor is directly proportional to the surface area of the plates and inversely proportional to the distance between them. The capacitance also depends on the dielectric constant of the dielectric material. Some common dielectric materials used in capacitors include air, paper, ceramic, and plastic. The dielectric constant of the material determines how well it can store charge, and different materials have different dielectric constants. How a capacitor stores energy. Working principle of a capacitor. The working principle of a capacitor is based on the storage of electric charge in the electric field created by the voltage applied to the plates. When a voltage is applied to the plates, one plate becomes positively charged and the other negatively charged. This creates an electric field between the plates that stores energy in the dielectric. When the voltage is removed, the electric field collapses and the energy is released. Types of capacitors and their applications. Ceramic capacitors. Ceramic capacitors are the most common type of capacitor and are used in a wide variety of electronic circuits. They are small in size and have a high capacitance, making them ideal for use in power supply decoupling, signal filtering, and coupling applications. Electrolytic capacitors. Electrolytic capacitors are used in applications where high capacitance values are required. They are commonly used in power supply filtering and decoupling applications. They are larger in size compared to ceramic capacitors, but they can store more charge. Tantalum capacitors. Tantalum capacitors are used in high-performance applications where reliability and stability are important. They are popular in medical, military, and aerospace applications because they are highly stable and have a long lifespan. Applications of capacitors in circuits. Capacitors are used in a wide range of applications in electronic circuits. They are used to filter out unwanted noise, stabilize power supplies, store energy, and control the timing of signals. Some common applications of capacitors include power supply decoupling, motor start capacitors, timing circuits, and audio filtering. How capacitors are charged and discharged. Capacitors are passive components that store electrical energy in an electric field. They consist of two metal plates separated by a dielectric material. When a voltage is applied across the plates, an electric field is generated, causing the free electrons to move from one plate to the other. This movement of electrons charges the capacitor. Charging a capacitor. When a capacitor is connected to a voltage source, it begins to charge. At the beginning of the charging process, the capacitor has zero voltage and acts like a short circuit. As the voltage across the capacitor increases, the current flowing through it decreases, and the capacitor begins to act like an open circuit. The charging process continues until the voltage across the capacitor equals the voltage of the source. Discharging a capacitor. When a capacitor is disconnected from a voltage source, it begins to discharge. The capacitor discharges through a load, such as a resistor or an LED, 
until the voltage across the capacitor equals zero. Time constant and charging, discharging curves. The time it takes for a capacitor to charge or discharge is determined by its capacitance and the resistance of the circuit. This time is known as the time constant and is calculated as the product of the capacitance and resistance. The charging and discharging curves of a capacitor are exponential, meaning that the rate of charging or discharging decreases over time. Capacitor ratings and specifications. Capacitance rating. The capacitance rating of a capacitor refers to its ability to store charge. It is measured in farads, F, and ranges from picofarads, PF, to thousands of microfarads, UF. The capacitance rating determines the amount of charge a capacitor can store and how much energy it can release. Voltage rating. The voltage rating of a capacitor refers to the maximum voltage it can withstand without breaking down. It is specified in volts, V, and should always be higher than the highest voltage in the circuit. Tolerance rating. The tolerance rating of a capacitor refers to the maximum allowable deviation from its stated capacitance. It is expressed as a percentage and typically ranges from plus or minus 1% to plus or minus 20%. How to diagnose faulty capacitors? Faulty capacitors can be diagnosed by checking for physical signs of damage, such as bulging or leaking. They can also be tested using a multimeter or an oscilloscope to measure their capacitance, resistance, and voltage. Replacing damaged capacitors. Damaged capacitors can be easily replaced by desoldering the old one and soldering in a new one. It is important to use a replacement capacitor with the same or higher capacitance and voltage rating. The future of capacitor technology. The future of capacitor technology is focused on developing capacitors that can store more energy in a smaller package, with higher voltage and capacitance ratings. This will allow for more efficient and compact power storage solutions in various industries, such as renewable energy, electric vehicles, and aerospace. Capacitors are a fundamental component of modern technology.